In this video, we're going to take a look at the difference between a population parameter and sample statistic, point estimator and point estimate, how to calculate the point estimates for the population mean mu, population standard deviation sigma and population proportion p, and how to calculate and interpret sampling errors for the sample mean, sample standard deviation and sample proportion. According to the 2011 census data from Statistics South Africa, it was reported that the average age is 25 years. Now, since all the people in South Africa were taken into account when this value was calculated, then this is considered a fixed value. So we refer to this as a parameter and we'll denote it by the Greek symbol mu. But what if we're interested in the average age of a South African in 2019 and may not have all the population data? Then we can take a representative sample from the country and we find that the age is 22.6 years. So this is a point estimate of the overall average age and we refer to it as a sample statistic and this will be denoted by the symbol X bar. So since we are able to take multiple samples and therefore we'll end up with different values of X bar, then X bar is going to be referred to as a variable. So the difference between an estimator and an estimate is that an estimator is a sample statistic used to estimate the population parameter whereas the estimate is the actual calculated value of that sample statistic that we use to estimate. So an example would be X bar, which is the sample mean, and it's an estimator for the population parameter mu. And another example would be S, which is the sample standard deviation, which is an estimator for the population parameter sigma. So if we have a sample of size N, and from this sample, we obtain a sample mean X bar of 12.2, then we can report that the estimate of the population mean is 12.2. Suppose we have a population of 300 exam marks, and we are interested in taking a sample of 30 marks, we can make use of the rand function in Excel, or even the random number generation tool in the data analysis tool pack. So in order to compare the average values from the population and the sample, we can make use of the average function in Excel, and we find that the sample average or the sample mean is 55.53, and this is because we took the average of 30 values, which are the 30 values of our sample, whereas the population mean is 55.71, where we took the average of all the data points in the population. So we can report that 55.53 is the point estimate of the population average. And in this case, the population average is 55.71. So for the mean, the variance, the standard deviation and the proportion, we're able to define the population parameter and the corresponding sample statistic. So for the mean, we can see that the population parameter is mu and the sample statistic is x bar, which is the sum of x divided by n. For the variance, the population parameter is sigma squared and the sample statistic is s squared. For the standard deviation, it's sigma, which is simply the square root of the variance. And for the sample statistic, it's S, which is a sample standard deviation. Now for the proportion, the parameter is P. And the sample statistic is P bar, which is defined as X divided by N. Since we make use of the point estimator to estimate the population parameter, Keeping in mind that the point estimator is calculated from a sample, then a sampling error is likely to arise. So our sampling error is defined as the absolute difference 
between the population parameter and the sample statistic or the absolute difference between the sample statistic and the population parameter. So for each one of these statistics, we are able to calculate the sampling error. So for the mean, this will be the absolute difference between X bar, which is the point estimator minus mu, or mu minus X bar. For the variance, it's the, diff it's the absolute difference between S squared minus sigma squared or sigma squared minus s squared. For the standard deviation, it's the absolute difference between s minus sigma or sigma minus s. And for the proportion, it's the absolute difference between p, the population proportion, minus p bar, the sample proportion, or p bar minus p. Let's take a look at some of the absolute relationships. So the absolute value of x is equal to x if it's positive or minus x if x is negative. So in this case, you find that the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3 because the x value was negative to begin with. Now the absolute value of x, if it's greater than or equal to a, is given as x being greater than or equal to a or x is less than or equal to negative a and the absolute value of x if it's less than or equal to a will mean that x is between negative a and positive a both included let's take a look at this example where we have the population parameter values the sample statistic values, and the sampling error values for the mean, the variance, the standard deviation, and the proportion. So if we look at the mean, mu is equal to 35.97, x bar is 37.41, and the sampling error is the, dif is the absolute difference between the two values, and we have a value of 1.44. The variance, sigma squared is equal to 69.72, s squared is 67.73, and therefore the sampling error is the absolute difference between the two, and we have a value of 1.99. For the standard deviation, sigma is equal to 8.35, s is equal to 8.23, and the absolute difference of those two values gives us the sampling error, which is 0 0.12. And finally, for the proportion, P is equal to 0 0.9, P bar is equal to 0 0.93, and therefore the absolute difference between the two values gives us the sampling error, which is 0 0.03. In the next video, we are going to take a look at the concept of sampling distribution and how to apply the central